everyone, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake, and it's a, it's a Chick Shack! Yeah, welcome back to Hugo and Jake. We're taking a break from our Jordan Peterson series, and today we're going to be looking at a classic, another Jack Chick masterpiece. Here comes the judge! This one's about a judicial conspiracy. Hmm. Does it have to do with the Second Amendment? No. Not oh, so no one gets to be mad today? No. What divisive political things will you say in the comments? I don't know why you ask for it. They're going to do it anyway. Why do you do it? Because we're soy boys. We are soy boys. We got called soy boys. That's fine. Does it look like I eat a lot of soy? I'd be so fucking proud if you ate just a little soy. My body would be happy too. I don't think it would. I think you'd throw it up immediately. It's a vegetable. In a certain city, there lived a highly respected judge. We couldn't even be fucked to come up with a city? <laughs> Again. In, in city, city. You gotta remember, this is essentially a sermon in comic book form. All their stories had to be very vague and definitely didn't happen. His reputation was spotless. He was being considered for the state Supreme Court. Couldn't even narrow in on which state. Good for Jack. Probably... Probably one of the good ones. Mississippi. He was the Honorable Sheldon Barnstead. His wealthy wife had died, leaving him a mansion and a fortune. He gave to charity and he was loved by all. But Sheldon had a dark side that very few knew about. Take a closer look if you can. We only drew half this house, though, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> we can't draw a whole mansion. It'll take too long. Put extra text boxes over it. Daddy, we're home! What's going on? Lance, what did you do to Kyle? Wait, <gasps> what? Is he, um... Oh, that's a murdered, that's a murdered person. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh no. Blast it! You shouldn't be here! Um... Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, this I, came I, out of nowhere, I, didn't I suppose, it? I suppose we should call 911 because there is a... There was a knife, um, there was a knife lodged in this man's chest. Is it, is it, is Kyle dad? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> dad has been stabbed. You kill. oh, oh yeah. You killed my daddy, murderer! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, fucking kid. In fact, Idiot, the adults are doing adult stuff. Look. Kyle, Kyle, speak to me! Yeah, you pull that knife yeah, right out, yeah. lady. That's what they're definitely supposed to do. Pull the knife out of the wound. If you're ever in a situation, this is a this is a PSA right from Hugo. If you're ever in a situation where someone is stabbed, you leave the object in, you take them to the hospital, the doctors will decide when it's a good time to pull out the thing that's maybe keeping them alive. Why is that a thing for you? What? What kind of life do you live when you're gone? I have a life when you're not around. Yeah, but it's a weird one. It's yeah. one where there's stab wounds. Yeah. Okay. All right. The back alleys is where I live. <laughs> bum fights. <laughs> I'm a promoter for the bum fights. I don't partake. I don't have the body for it, frankly. You need a lot of soup, so when the belly spills, you get lots of spillage, and then all the fans go, Whoa! To try and guess the soup, what soup they ate that day. You are making up so much bum fight backstory. Yeah. Making it up. That That's what I'm doing. It was Lance Clausen, Kyle's best friend. I can't take it serious. His name's Kyle. You think <laughs> I know that's a name. I know it is, but it just sounds like, like he's in a punk band. You know what I'm saying? I, I... I feel like... Do you think they had a conversation, like, midway through this track? They're like, you know, I feel like maybe we should have thrown in some exposition before the murder. I'm surprised. Yeah. I'm surprised there wasn't more of a... more of a talk. You had the murder weapon, Mrs. Kiefer. <laughs> <laughs> he killed Daddy! Mama pulled out the knife to help Daddy! <laughs> That's actually... Oh. Um... Uh, what did your husband do? He was a private investigator. He was gathering evidence. Wow. That he just... was gather Just in general. He'd walk around walk and he'd be like, Oh, there's some evidence. 
Yeah, like Blue's Clues. Yeah. It's got a nice paw print on it. Yeah. Makes sense. What's the white one that's not the pepper? Salt? Salt! No, they wait a second. Oh. That's how Blue's Clues works. They wait a second because the dumb kids have to feel like they knew stuff. Remember when the salt and pepper had a baby? And it was fucking paprika? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Which confused me greatly as a child. I still don't understand how various just, condiments work. Wouldn't it just be a blend? That's not a condiment. Don't use paprika as a condiment, please. Spice. See? I'm still confused. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Did you see it? No, he said it was too dangerous. The evidence was... Snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Sna oh, yeah, snakes. Snakes are very dangerous animals. See that? That yeah. makes sense. Everything went wrong! <sighs> what, did you get the tapes and photos? I got them! Is Kiefer dead? I killed him, Judge, but his wife and his kids caught me by surprise, and the kid even said, You murdered my daddy, but I told that kid to shut up. I think I won. I think we're prob that's probably safe. Yeah, I think so. He didn't Did say she grab the murder weapon stupidly, ending his life? Yeah, I think she- I didn't even wipe off my fingerprints. I think she did the job for oh, me. good. Huh. Other than that, you messed up big time, stupid. I'll make some calls. We'll protect you. I have a, uh, is this a life alert phone? What is that? It's one of those cricket phones. It's a cricket? I can, so I can see the numbers better. <laughs> I forgot. So calm down and bring me the photos right now. The snake photos. <laughs> it's, I'll, I'll get them to the governor. Hey, this goes all the way to the top, man. This goes all the way to the top. All the way up. Alex Jones was right, man. We what got the fuck? Hold on. What happened to his uh, visage? His visage. I don't know. His bone structure is... It's a different is, guy. Like, yeah, no, I understand. I, I'm i not saying there's a precedent for this character. I'm saying his bones are weird. Oh! He's just got weird face bones. He's got a... It's like there's, you know, just the end of, like, a cartoon bone that is, like, the double bloop bloop? Yep. Uh, his chin looks like that. His nose is is 85% bridge. <laughs> we got the stuff, sir. But we've got problems. Lance was arrested 15 minutes ago. Our men are at Mrs. Kiefer's planting the evidence. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. We'll destroy her. Is this... What's Jack Chick trying to say here? The government bad? The government Is bad. Is that it? The police... He's normally pretty pl the pro police. The police bad? Uh, um, in this, they're planting evidence and drugs on women, though. There was so. a stab. There was a stabbing. Yeah. Uh, we'll get there in the end. All right. Yes, officer? We found your stash of illegal drugs. Turn around, please. <laughs> what? You're, you're ten gallons above your jankum limit. Jankum? Yeah. <laughs> Google it. <That's... laughs> I haven't heard you say that word in like four years. Yes. I save my, I save my jankum for when I really well, need it. Well, just like everybody else does. Yeah. You don't just do, you just have, you don't use it right away. It's an emergency situation yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Kim Kiefer, you're under arrest. Family services are on the way. What about my... Oh, you just answered that. Never mind. Never mind. You have, um... Okay, I don't mean to be rude. And there's nothing wrong with it. Before you ask, yes, I am an oon. <laughs> well, I was gonna ask if there was a Downs issue. Personally. I, I feel like I already answered your question. Okay. Wait, I got hot. Maybe I didn't. Was this a different person? No, it's the same person. No, she got hot. Look at she's like unbuttoned the bottom button. Yeah, it's the orange. Is, she's seen orange as the new black. She knows how this women's prison thing goes. Yeah, there's gonna be scissoring at some point. My oh, wait, she's 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 uh in orange. The my husband was murdered. My children are gone, and I've been framed on drug charges. Isn't there any justice? You know what I sound like? I sound like when Aziz Ansari does any sort of bit like that yeah that's bit. weird hmm. sorry not in this life honey and then uh then the lesbian arc begins yeah i was gonna say comedy hooker character i have no reason to comedy believe. hooker character. i have no reason to assume she's a hooker i'm assuming she's a hooker two weeks later all rise criminal court is now in session the honorable shelton barnshed presiding here comes the judge God help us. They said the title. They did it. Woo. Upon entering, the officers found Kyle Kiefer dead on the floor and his drug-crazed wife holding the knife. 
Uh, for the sake of justice, you must find this evil monster guilty of murder. Bernie Sanders 2020. You heard the verdict. Instead of death, the court will mercifully sentence you to only 40 years. Yeah, wait, you devil. God will get you for this. That outburst adds another 10 years to your sentence. That's not how that works. You can't, I mean, you can't. It'd, it'd, be, con it'd be contempt of court. It would be contempt But of that's court. not 10 years. I don't no. think, I don't think contempt, I think it's one year. I don't know. Maybe it depends on how contempt. Maybe you take a shit on the court floor, but not the gavel. If you shit on the gavel, I think that's that's like a, a multiplier, like a bonus. I'm surprised in cases where, like, the person is just fucked for life, like, they know they're going away for the rest of their life, <clears> or <throat> they're going to go on death row and there's no amount of appeals that are going to change that. Yeah. I'm surprised the lack of disrespect for the courtroom proceedings in those cases, because if I were them, I'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> It'd be like that Rick and Morty courtroom bit that they released, like, a year ago. Yeah. Be like, what are you going to do to me? I'm going to jail. Fuck you. I don't even disrespect you. I just don't have to respect you now. Yeah. We've, the social contract <laughs> is over for me. We have decided. <laughs> yeah. I think we can all agree. Yeah. Where do we stand? Lance Clawson accidentally hung himself in his cell. Go on. Mrs. Kiefer snapped in solitary confinement. She's in a mental hospital undergoing shock treatments to pray the gay away. Excellent. So all of our problems are solved, I'm right? I'm afraid not. George Washington. What? No, nope, nope, never mind. I, uh, I mean, no, we're, that was unrelated. I just noticed George Washington. Yeah, it's the president of the United States. Well, it was. It was. He, he's on my wall. Why? Yeah. Do you are you, do, anytime you see a picture of George Washington, do you feel the need to verbally point it out? It's like a. It's like OCD. I do that kind of thing from time to time. It's fine. Okay, OCD is a real thing. What that is 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 a quirk. I don't have time for your fucking quirks. No, it's... Well, okay. I felt like if, if I didn't say George Washington, I would die. I feel like that's OCD. Have you ever George not Washington. said it? God fucking damn it. <laughs> Last night, some beautiful lady got the judge drunk. She asked questions and he blabbed away, I patch. That's when we moved in and took him home. Who was the woman? Her name's Maxine West, a reporter. She's also apparently a hussy. Oh, wow. You ever seen uh, House of Cards? No, I haven't actually. Oh, well, uh, Kate Mara, total hussy. Oh, okay. Yeah, Rooney Mara's little sister. I know who that is off the top of my head. Rooney Mara played the uh, remake in uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. She played the remake. She played the. She played, she the, played, the, gir she played the girl in the re in the American rem or well, the English remake, not the Polish one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Blast it! Go shut his big mouth, or we'll mustache. all go down. That is a beautiful mustache. He turns almost into a Street Fighter character for one frame. I understand, sir. I don't care how. <laughs> Even though you didn't fucking ask what? how. What? I don't care how. Just don't involve me. Click. That was odd. Do 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 video do Skype calls end with click, like a phone. Yeah. <laughs> click. At 1:47 p.m., as Judge Shelton Barnstead dined in his favorite restaurant, <laughs> it we, was we, we IRA'd that shit. It uh, was exploded by a mid '90s Nickelodeon cartoon of the same oh, name. I thought you were gonna say like. Mid '80s Irish terrorist group. No, no. Although it can be that. It can be about the troubles if you want. Why you know that's what they call it. The troubles. The troubles. <laughs> Fuck you. That sounds like the vapors. Just like I like you have to shit. It's a very English thing. The troubles. The troubles. The terrorists have. blowing up things. <clears throat> what did you call fucking World War Two? The misfortune. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know when we were in bunkers for fucking six years. Anyway. Also, if you're ever in, in the UK, or more specifically, if you're in, like, anywhere around Ireland, mm -hmm. do not order an Irish car bomb. What, will they, will they be very upset at me? They'll be like, would you like, I mean, they, they'll probably... Would you, have, would you like a real one? They'll be like, would you like a fucking 911 with that as well? They'll just be mad at you. <laughs> well, if someone answered, would you like a 911, I'd be like, yes? What is that? That sounds very interesting. Do you have a holocaust as well? How about a diaspora? 
Irish car bombs aren't called Irish car bombs over there. They're called something else. Less. Real. <laughs> Leprechauns. Breaking news! The Popular Palace Cafe... Popular Palace Cafe... Okay. The Popular Palace Cafe exploded today, killing two and wounding seven others. TV reporter Maxine West has died. Judge Shelton Barnstead is in intensive care. He is immune to explosions. But not concussive blasts. Okay. I buy that. Rats! He's still alive! Two weeks later. You may visit him, sir, but the judge is unable to speak. Please limit your visit to 20 minutes. At 21 minutes, he will defecate himself. Thank you, nurse. Seriously, thank you for that warning. I, uh... You have a stopwatch? No, he has an internal stopwatch. Okay, I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll just count it out. One. Your Honor, it's me, Conrad. Four, five. I've been here. It's been. Uh, I'm late. I got here late. Okay. Don't have to count anymore. Never mind. Uh, I've been to your house. I've been your servant for 23 years. You've treated me like trash since day one. But today, you're gonna listen to me. Oh yeah. Oh, like this is the end of the movie Safety Patrol, bitch. You can't do shit. God spared your life till now, but you could still catch pneumonia and die. <laughs> wow. Threatening an old man. <laughs> so before you die, you must hear about the awesome judge you must face after death. Oh, fucking Judge Dredd, bitch. Have you seen that movie? Yeah. Peach Trees. Gonna fuck you up. Go see the watch the movie Dredd. They want to do a show. Dredd or Judge Dredd? Dredd. Oh, okay. They're wanting with to Carl do Carl Urban. Yeah, they're wanting to do a show with Carl Urban. Carl Urban, I'm sure, is supposed to be attractive as a man, but it depends on, like, his facial hair, and that's it. That's what he's banking, like me. Like, shaved, neither of us are a approachable humans. I'd imagine Carl Urban's uh, attractiveness mostly comes from sniffing him. You think he smells good? I think if you went up to him, just, uh, just up to his chest and went... Like a real mossy sort of... You'd be like, I feel safe. I feel safe. Chekhov wasn't, but he got run over by his own car. That's a true story. Rip Elton Yenchin. Is that his name? Alton? Anton. Anton. Can't remember anymore. It's okay. The one that said nuclear vef vessels is still alive, though. No. He is. No, that's the one that died. No. I'm saying the original Chekhov outlived new Chekhov. Oh! Because he said that shit as well. Didn't he? I don't know. <laughs> you have absolutely nothing in common with him because you are his enemy. You know of him. You've called him a liar and a con man. In fact, his name is cursed and hated worldwide. Mm, 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 mm. Why are you sticking your tongue out? Mm, mm, mm. It's your tongue. Mm, mm, to oh, what? Open your mouth. Mm. I op I open your mouth. <laughs> Will you stop being an asshole? No, I close your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but I love him. He's my dearest friend. So let me introduce him to you, Judge. <laughs> Look at the horror on his I face. I know. It's like, oh, God. This is my hell. <laughs> this is my hell. Feeding tube. I don't want to be on a fucking feeding tube in a body cast with severe burns all over my body. And look at some dick-nosed Ted Cruz motherfucker tell me about the Lord. <laughs> He's the Lord Jesus Christ, God's son and creator of the universe. He is alive and will be your final judge. 2,000 years ago, he came to Earth because all his people had broken God's laws and General Zod had unthoughtfully drilled into the center of the planet allowing it to become destroyed <laughs> over the years. He was sent here to Earth in a rocket ship and you know the rest. Judge, would you give your life for the people you found guilty? Of course not. But Jesus did. I'll answer for you because you can't talk. Shh. Remember when you told me for two years I wasn't to speak unless I was spoken to? <laughs> you never made it stop. Shh. He took the penalty for our sins and was executed in our place. So God the Son shed his holy blood to wash away our sins. He rose and three days later he rose from the dead. To be forgiven, sir, you must believe on Jesus, who did this for you, 
and pray. Repent and receive the Lord Jesus as your Savior, and you will be forgiven. It is that simple. Everyone will realize who Jesus Christ is when they see him at Judgment Day. <laughs> but before that terrible time... You sound, time like, was... you sound like John Mulaney talking like his mom. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone will realize on that day... <laughs> God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus will remove his off the earth to miss this coming time of madness and horror. Look at the, just the his eyebrows I, they, exceed they, the wrappings. They did the bandages around the eyebrows. They're like, we cannot stifle this man's brows. <laughs> we can tell this is 90% of his expressiveness. They need to be free. The nightmare will begin with a one-world government ruled by the Antichrist. Then God will unleash his wrath on the earth with fairness, plagues, and war. Billions will die. The world will be in shambles. I'd like to think he just stopped here and was like, All right, see you later. <laughs> At the end of these days, Jesus will return and destroy the Antichrist with his armies at Armageddon. Jesus will set up his kingdom and bring true world peace, ruling from Jerusalem. So now you know, Judge. So what's your decision, sir? Will you receive Jesus or will you reject him? This is a fucking good clapback. This, <laughs> this is a great joke. That's yes. a good joke. You go on for fucking six panels. He, with a with a fuck you, you're fired joke. Yeah. I dig that. I'm in. He actually gives him almost the exact same thing that's at the end of every chick tract. Will you receive Jesus? Yes yeah. or no? You're fired. <laughs> my task is done. Your blood is no longer on my hands. Uh, <clears throat> I need to get in here, sir. Please leave. He's masking his voice, but he has an eye patch. Mm. Yes, doctor. Dar, good morning, Shelton. Here's a little present from the governor. This isn't gonna hurt... much. Bye, your runner. I'll see you in hell. Um... It's heroin? Bleach? I don't know. 23 minutes later, something that 23 takes... 23 minutes?! Something that takes 23 minutes fucker. to kill you. If I'm mainlining something into someone, you bet your ass it's gonna take... It's gonna be quick to kill him. Maybe I'm... it did kill him, but like the like angels oh, like the take twenty. Take a while. Yeah. Mm. Or demons, yeah. His muffled screams were unheard. <laughs> then how do we know they were muffled screams? Jesus said Philosophy one oh one. Jesus said of himself, He that believeth on him whatever. Why are we talking about Jesus okay. If you are lost in rebellion against your creator, you are headed straight for hell, but you can change where your soul will spend eternity. Jesus will one day be your judge. Will he be your dearest friend or your deadliest enemy? Look what Judge Barnstead's stubbornness and pride cost him. His soul! But don't make the same mistake. <laughs> oh, God. I'm having doubts. This, this one, one this one got me. This one was, like, even for a chick track, just kind of mean-spirited. kind of mean-spirited? I mean, well, there are worse chick tracks than this, I would say, as far as meanness goes. But this one wasn't even like, here's a message of hope from Jesus. This one was just like, shit's fucked. The government is gonna plant drugs on you after your husband gets stabbed in the heart. You're fucked. The Antichrist is coming. You better be on Jesus' okay, side. Okay, but, but... What did the snake evidence have to do with anything? The snake evidence was the first sign of the apocalypse. They got on a plane, you see, with Samuel L. Jackson, who was also in this comic as Eye Patch Guy, mm. and he had to fight him off, and that was the first sign of the apocalypse that was coming. Did that movie got greenlit? Yes. Well, okay. So, I guess that's it. Uh, you can always uh, follow us on Twitter at Papa Bird Jake. You can follow Hugo at Hugo Reloaded. You can also subscribe to the channel and make sure you get all your chick tracky goodness hot and fresh out the kitchen, like R. Kelly without the P. You can also send things to this P.O. box. Uh, movies, TV shows, anything, books, whatever you want us to cover, and we'll probably take a look at them at some point, or at the very least, we'll be entertained while opening them on a live stream. Yeah, we have some right here. Here's, here's one. It's shiny. Yeah. Um, other than that, you can always support the show on Patreon if you want to. That'd be really cool. Uh, our next big goal is to go to the Creation Museum. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's at the same exact level as we start streaming our D&D &D sessions. So. Indeedly do. Check that out if you want. 
Uh, come back here soon for probably more Jordan Peterson shit. Yeah. Is that what we're doing Friday? If you want. Let us know down in the comments. You want that Friday or, I don't know, McGee and me. Those are your choices. So until next time, Hugo. Jake. Hugo and Jake. I have indigestion. You got Tums. I have Pepto. I didn't really eat anything, choice. and I think that was the problem. That's probably. Oh. I'm, a, I'm a Tums guy. I can't do the Pepto. Too don't, milky. Don't like the the the. You guys can go now.